Hello there everyone, welcome to Yosakura. This is the first video in a series where I'll be showing you how you can mix, merge or blend different images inside Nuke, which is one of the most basic things you have to understand before getting into composites. So here inside Nuke, let me start by laying down a couple of notes to help me with the demo. So what I put down here is a color bars node and one checkerboard node. These are going to represent two different images or image sequences which we are going to uh, combine together inside Nuke. So for convenience purposes I am going to use the checkerboard as a representation for my background element. So let me name it. And the color bars is going to be my foreground element. And for those of you who are unfamiliar with this terminology, uh, you, all you have to understand is that anytime you are merging two or more images together, there is always one image which is at the back and one image at the front. The image in the front is a foreground image and the image at the back is a background image. You'll understand this better when we follow along. So to merge these two nodes together, all the options or the nodes to do that can be found under the merge menu and the most default one you usually want to use is the merge node and the shortcut for that is M you can just click on this and it produces the node this node usually has three different inputs by default the top two inputs labeled A and B represent the two different images which you want to connect into it the A represents the foreground and the B represents the background element the easiest way to remember this convention is B is for BG or background next on the side we have a mask channel which you can connect into the merge node we'll be talking about the mask channel in the next video so let's see how exactly you can merge these two nodes together now so this being a foreground element goes into my A channel and this being my background element goes into the B channel and now immediately once they combine you can see that I have a new channel on the side for input called A2 and this nothing but represents a multiple foreground elements which can be added on the same background so once you have connected a single foreground element you can start adding multiple b foreground elements on the same thing so once this is connected I'll put it onto my viewer and the only thing you can see is color bars being put on top of the background element. So as you can see here we can make out both the foreground and the background image right here. But most of the times you do not want the same but two or more images merging directly on top of each other like this. So for that purposes we have different blend modes which we'll be looking at in a different video and next we also have an option for mask which can be connected through this input connection and we'll be taking a look at that too. So here in this video all I've shown you is how you can take two or more images and blend them together using the merge node. So let's see another way of doing the same thing. So here just now what I had done was I went to the merge node and took the merge input a merge node put it in here and connected the inputs but other ways of doing the same thing is you can just drag a rectangle or a across your nodes and press the M key and it will immediately create your connections but as you can see here the foreground is connected to the B input and the uh, background is connected to the A input which is completely wrong so in such a situation if you wanted to exchange these nodes all you have to do is press shift X on your keyboard and it will immediately shift the input uh, the different inputs which you have on the same node this swapping of A and B channels works on pretty much any node uh, next uh, very useful things when using, using the merge node is having a thumbnail view just the way you have on the foreground or background element to display the thumbnail you can select the merge node or double click on it in the properties bin you can turn on postage stamp or you can use a shortcut alt p to toggle the postage stamp on or off and pretty much that's the easiest way of merging different nodes together inside Nuke. In the next videos I'll be talking, uh, taking a much more in-depth look at all the options that you have inside the merge node itself. I hope you found this video useful and the next couple of videos will be giving you much more detailed introduction to the merge node inside Nuke. So I'll see you there.